Well, Division 2020 was, was a concept that the previous government mm -hmm. had portrayed. Uh, we felt that the development status cannot be determined by a time. It has to be determined by a process. So we changed the focus towards processes rather than setting targets and time. And, make, and ensuring that the, the, the processes that are put into place will move us to development as fast as we can. Um, I think when you read the, the, the Moody's report, you will see that we have sustained a, a middle income category which is carrying us fairly near, at least on the basis of a capital income, to develop status. And the points of departures in the economic sphere has been essentially, firstly, to, to as I said, fix the, the finance house, to ensure that the debt deficit budgeting crisis will not emerge. Now, we have gone into deficit budgeting. We had, in fact, been in negative growth 2009, 2010, and the first quarter of 2011. By the end of fiscal 2011, we expect this now to move into positive growth. So we had to climb out of negative growth. That was the first challenge. We had to climb out of negative growth. And I think this year, I had predicted a, a growth of about 2% but we probably will end up somewhere between one and two. What we had to do was to change the trends. And we had to change the trends on many economic indicators. The second aspect, um, as I said earlier, had to do with ensuring that the debt fiscal deficit does not become a yoke. The third aspect had to do with the construction of a a sustainable framework, uh, a framework for inclusive development. Mm -hmm. Okay, we, we, a framework for inclusive development meant that we had to take the expenditure pattern in the country and gradually shift it for more effective value, but we could not abandon it, uh, and therefore we ensured that we maintain a fairly large social safety net. But what has happened in Britain now? And we are a little concerned because we used to think, you know, that it was authoritarian governments that led to populist response, as in Egypt. But now here you have a democratic government. If you want to sum up our economic objectives, it is to build, build a tomorrow for today's use. Okay, that's how I am viewing it, and I believe it's in that that segment of the population. That, that is less patient and no longer uh, willing to accept the paradigm of the past. So building a tomorrow for today's use is, is really where we are moving. At the same time, we have to really address the issues of poverty and income distribution. Um, so you have, uh, you know, you have an interesting debate in the United States between entitlements on one hand, and on the other hand, you have. Uh, well, how are you going to finance entitlement through taxation or through uh, borrowings? Now, open new spaces is both within the country and in the country's external relations. Because the economy of Trinidad and Tobago is still narrowly defined. Not only in energy, but even the non-energy sector is narrowly defined. So, so what we are working on is open up new spaces. And open up new spaces means we're trying to exploit the potential of parts of this country that have not been developed. For example, the North Coast, where we are now looking at, at how we can get easier access to the North Coast. There's tremendous potential out there for, for development of uh, maybe the leisure industry. And we define the leisure industry to tourism because we believe the leisure uh, opportunities for Trinidadians must be tapped as well. That's why we are building a, a major highway into okay. the Southwest Peninsula. And that's another one of the of the space that we want to exploit, explore, I should say. Um, then there is Port of Spain itself, 
the parts of Port of Spain that became rather dilapidated uh, and East Port of Spain. And we have now embarked on a, on a program for rebuilding the, the, the city. So we are building that, that third road, road pole, if you want to call it uh -huh. that. And then the fourth one has to do with Tobago. But Tobago has found themselves a little more problem than we had anticipated. They have, perhaps they have, they have paid the price of the recession more than Trinidad. Before we go into the road pole concept, the seriousness, we have to revive the economy. So we're looking now at steps to give them a sort of impetus to get them going because they, 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 they have, as you rightly pointed out, the, the, the tourist industry. And the fifth one has to do with the, uh, the concept of industrial parks. And we are trying to, we try to re, redesign these industrial parks so that each one will become a promoter of foreign investment. For more videos, please visit www.voicesoftrinidadandtobago.com.